Halloween season might be over, but there is one thing I need to build and show you guys before I can think about Christmas. So as you guys are probably well aware, we got a LEGO Star Wars Halloween special this year called LEGO Star Wars Terrifying Tales. And whilst it was a fairly standard piece of LEGO Star Wars content, which featured some funny moments like this, One for luck. It wasn't all too inspiring for the most part. However, there is one part of it that really caught my eye and is something that I've hoped LEGO would release for a long time, and that's a build for Maul's spider legs. Ever since Maul's survival was announced in the season finale of Clone Wars Season 3, I've played about with different builds, but I think the animation team for Terrifying Tales has done a really good job here. Want to see how I built them? No? Ah oh well. Okay, so now you've seen how the legs are built, let's take a closer look at the model. First things first, after thoroughly examining scenes from the Halloween special, the model that we see I don't believe is physically possible to be built in Lego. If you look closely at some of the shots, it appears to show some quarter round tiles that just wouldn't work or connect to the model, so I did take a few creative liberties on this one. If you think you can see a way that these would attach, do let me know in the comments down below. I have to say the model is a tad fragile due to a lot of the one stud connections but it does offer a huge range of posability and I'll show you guys an optional addition to make the build a little more rigid later. There are actually four points of articulation on each of the mechanical spider legs which as I said gives the model so much posability. The base of the leg can pivot side to side, the claw piece can move up and down, the bar holder can be rotated 360 degrees if desired and the final claw like piece can move up and down so there are so many positions you can pose more in with these legs. So, what do you think? I would suggest using all new parts for this build, as the model does rely on strong connections to keep it together, which is something that used pieces might not guarantee. You can add a 2x3 plate to the bottom of the mechanical legs and this does strengthen the connection of the legs but the corners of the plates are a little jarring so I prefer it without and to place my thumb on the underside when posing the legs. The pieces, excluding the mall torso, head and horns from the Jewel of Mandalore set come to just over $5 new so this isn't a particularly expensive build and to be honest you'll probably have a lot of these pieces available to you anyway. The studio file and parts list are up on my loyalty store, so come along to the weekly live stream every Wednesday at 8.30 UK time, earn some studs and they're all yours. If you are like me and have an awful memory, subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any future content and I'll catch you guys next time.